Right now at 10, hate crimes on the rise for months because of the war in the Middle East. Tonight, an investigation into an incident in Lincoln Park. Anti-Semitic flyers left on dozens of cars. An historic verdict with similarities right here in the Chicago area. For the first time, the parent of a school shooter is convicted in the killings. Warm winds on the way with temperatures making it into the 50s starting tomorrow, mid to even upper 50s by the end of the week. Plus, when our next chance of showers and storms moves in. CBS2 is always investigating a company accused of leaving grieving families in the lurch, now accused of doing the same to their own employees. We begin with breaking news off the top here at 10. This is all that's left of a police SUV following a serious crash in suburban Niles tonight. At least two other cars were involved. You can see the impact left that police SUV with its front end completely smashed in. No word just yet on any injuries. And breaking out of Evanston, a deadly crash near Howard and Oakton. A motorcycle collided with an SUV around 530 tonight. The 48 year old driver of the motorcycle died at the hospital a short time later. The driver of the SUV was not hurt. An investigation is underway tonight after flyers with anti-Semitic messages were placed on dozens of cars in Lincoln Park. And this isn't the first time in this same community. New tonight at 10, our Metabel Gonzalez is live hearing from the alderman who saw the messages himself. Metabel. Yeah, Alderman Brian Hopkins tells us he first heard about this from a resident this morning, but then quickly realized that more people had been targeted. Now, the cards are too explicit to show you, but we can tell you that although they each contain different wording. All right, we're all snapping our fingers, but uh, that could actually be the future voice of relaxation. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. What? Ra rapper and music producer Lil Jon, who soared to fame in the early 2000s with hits like Get Low, oh, Snap Your Fingers. Classic. Let's all say this together. <laughs> Turn, Turn down for what? what? Yes. Yes. That was just Marshall and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's we'll carry it. He's turning a We're new page. We're saving it for the club, Albert and I. <laughs> so I guess he's planning to record a guided meditation album. And there's no word just yet on when it's going to hit the market, yeah. but there's speculation as well that he could be on the stage with Usher for the Super Bowl. Oh, now yeah. That would yeah. be a great. The man who brought us turned down for what is literally going to help you turn down in your mind. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. It's hard to imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is it for the CBS 2 News at 10 for Albert Marshall and Erica. <laughs> That's Joe. <laughs> what?